All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more 10 dates. Today we are deciding who to take on the third and final date. Will we take Brandy or will we take Kathleen? I'm thinking I'm gonna take Brandy, but I will play through this again and kind of go different routes and see what would have happened if we w had went with Kathleen or what would have happened if we went with Tony. We can select the other two next time maybe. Um, I'm just very intrigued. I, wish there I hope there's maybe a chapter select that I can use after, but I'm not sure that there is. But we're gonna go with Brandy because I, I chose Brandy in the demo and I just really vibe with her the most so I think going on a third date with her makes the most sense and then we can do Kathleen next or do the other two next anyway we'll see anyway let's do this thing let's jump in let's get it Brandy let's go we had just called her uh, at the end of the last video but uh, uh, I'm gonna do it again because obviously uh, we had quit out pretty much oh, right here Brandy, um, how are you I think you should be banging okay, Misha but, with that uh, kind of... Great to talk to you again. I had a blast the other night, and I was wondering if you would be free sometime this week, maybe the weekend, um, to meet up again. Yeah? Okay, I will. Um, I will talk to you then. Okay, uh, bye, buddy. Oh, look at him. Look how smug he is. Misha's jealous. Misha's jealous. I, 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 was so being cool? I was trying to be cool. You're so not cool. But you got another date. I did get another date. <laughs> You're stronger than you, you know. <laughs> Brandy against all odds. Let's see if we can confirm the deed with Brandy. Seal the deal with our girl Brandy. Very private. Well, if I had to get the mood right. <laughs> Oh, kiss on the cheek. Let's go. Yeah. What kind of oh! Uh, they Sorry. do all sorts, really. It is very eclectic, as I'm sure you will see. They do a cheese fondue. Yeah, we have to get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you want. Oh, my God. Do they do a chocolate one, too? I can go and ask. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Oh. She's checking our phone. Sarah, Ryan, your last rent payment didn't come through. Please send again by tomorrow afternoon. Yikes. Oh, no. Uh-oh. So we are in luck, but I do have just a teeny tiny bit of bad news. There is no chocolate fondue. But I have ordered chocolate dipped strawberries. Okay. Well, you're very proactive tonight. That's sexy right there. VIP service. That's sexy. Chocolate strawberries. I'm gonna feed them to her. I'm gonna feed them to her. Let's go, baby. What I'm talking about. Let's get Randy for Brandy, baby. That looks amazing. I never thought to order fondue. Well, I'm extra like that. I still remember the first time I had fondue. In a, in a Swiss skiing chalet overlooking a mountain range. That sounds like something out of a movie. <laughs> well, I've thought about those moments. Do you have dream things that you want? Of course. Uh, yeah, I think everyone does, mm. like even less materialistic people. Oh, let's share things of our dream lives. Sounds fun. Okay, let's start with the dream car. Go. Mm, I don't know much, but sports cars are really sexy. You know, fresh interior, leather seats with a bright We haven't had to make any decisions yet, so it's going swimmingly. <laughs> you even know it down to the trim, eh? Oh well, yeah, I have goals, sports car. Ryan. You know this. I'm the same. I want a sports car too, but it has to be fast. And I want it to have the butterfly wing doors at... We could race each other. <laughs> mm, I love so much about speed. It's more aesthetic for me. That is just because you're afraid to lose. Don't start, because I'll get competitive. You know I'd win. That's I know she gets competitive after the win. card game. No, I win. <laughs> I always win. I do believe that. Yeah, yeah, as you should. <laughs> All right, next question. What would be your dream home? Hmm. Architecture-wise and where? That's important, because you don't want a shit view. Uh, penthouse. A penthouse right up in the sky of a major city with I actually don't think that's what I want but I also don't want a mansion you, out and you can see the buzz and then but I think she would prefer penthouse and the fireworks on New Year's Eve yeah yeah it would be a perfect 
place for a midnight kiss? <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm sure you'd have countless women wanting to get that invite. Including you? <laughs> well, you know I like top floor apartments. See, I remembered that. All right. Get in there. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Get in there, baby. What is your dream partner like? For the game. For the game. Not for any other reason. I want a man who looks after himself and dresses well, but mainly someone who's ambitious and driven, who respects my hustle, but has their own. Power couple? Mm. But the success isn't as important as the mindset. You know, we've just always got to be pushing for more together. What about you? And don't steal my answer. Or do, <laughs> if you think you can live up to it. <laughs> Um, someone like you. I would actually say that it is someone a little bit like you, Randy. Oh, piss off. Are you serious? <laughs> You're a catch. Got a cheese her up there. Let's go. Driven. You're very giving. Any guy would be lucky to be with you. And as a just tiny little bonus, you, you're also beautiful. How did you turn something so cheesy into something so sweet? Because I'm a genius. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, uh, let's pivot. pivot. What is your dream personal project? Mm, if money didn't matter anymore, I'd get into politics. So I'm a proper techie, so I would love to develop something that would actually change the world. I have always hated the hard bit of toothpaste that forms at the spout of the tube. So in order to combat it, I was... Oh, co hey, it's not that shit an idea. Sorry, what? You, you just like fully zoned out on me there. I'm sorry if I've come across as materialistic, Ryan. See, I've come from worse than nothing. I arrived in the UK legally, in a lorry, as an asylum seeker. I was seven, all alone and couldn't speak any English. It made things like school and social care really difficult, but eventually I taught myself. I hope this doesn't sound like a sob story. No, no, not at all. Do you remember much of your old life? Well, my home country suffered lots of civil violence, so the economy was awful. <sighs> Me and my mum lived off three loaves of Cool, bread, I didn't realise this was going to get deep, jeez. Two ones and one sweet one. She saved all her money for a lorry trip across the channel, but it was only enough for one person, so she sent me. You didn't have phones or anything? You, you couldn't contact her? No. I haven't heard from her since. Jeez. I don't even know if she's alive. But I'm visiting the region next month to try and find her. I want to make the most of my opportunity in this country. Messed up. I'm one of the lucky ones. Is Brandy short for something? Bishma. Bishma. It means mm. beautiful. Oh, that you are. Well, here is to you, Bishma. Thank it's you. spelled like Bardinia, but it's pronounced Bishma. Weird. Hmm. That's cool. All right, we nailed that. Am I gonna get to feed our strawberries you now? No, I like hot weather. I like tanning. I don't. For lunch. I could be reading my magazine on the beach. What are you reading? Keeping okay. up with what's going on in the world. You know, I want to be. Even on a holiday. Oh, okay. I was so confused. I was like, this, com this conversation is not lining up. They were just doing a little uh, montage. So, what do you have planned for the coming days? Work. Work. And luck. The grind just does not stop with you, does it? I don't think it's a bad thing to prioritize your work life if it makes you happy. I agree. What are you prioritizing at the moment? Work or socializing or something else? 
We'll say work as well. I think she'll be well, kind of... Well, you have kind of shamed me into prioritizing my work. No, I would never intentionally shame anyone. Okay. You have inspired me to become more career-focused. That's more like it. <laughs> I remember the right person will always fit around your work. Not obstruct it. That is a very good point. I've never actually thought of that before. I'm going to be honest with you, Ryan. I've never really felt genuine connections with people in my life. This feels different. Yeah, bitch! Hmm. But the fact that I've never been here before means I can't promise that I'll be good at it. But do you want to try, though? Yeah. But you have to be sure you want to continue this with me. Yes. I don't deserve half effort. I'm all in, baby. I'm all in. No, you don't. And you will get 100% from me, Brandy. You too. How about a strawberry for the road? Yeah, yeah feed her that know. strawberry. Mm -hmm. Feed her that. Oh, uh, yeah, um. Oh, yeah. I guess you wonder where I've been. You know, the view. Brian just got a massive boner. You wanna come take a look? Oh, my God! Yeah, yeah I, I, I definitely do. Let's go, Ryan, lads. Come on. Bring the strawberries, too. <laughs> Ryan's so hard right now. Oh. Good lord. <laughs> Man's giddy. That's how I'd be too, though. Let's go, Ryan. Ba -da -ba. Ryan and Brandy are becoming a power couple. He still refuses to get into crypto, though. Love that. Absolutely love that. Look at those two. Cute as hell, man. Written and directed by Paul Rashid. Achievement unlocked. The boss. All right. We did it, boys. That's the end. That's the end with Brandy, but we can go and uh, do more, of course. So three out of three dates discovered. Win the card game against Brandy. Feed Brandy strawberries. Yes, yes, sir. All right, let's select Ryan again. This time I'm going to maybe bring Tony onto a second date and I'm going to go try go all the way with Kathleen. So I don't know if you can like skip through scenes. I assume you probably can. Oh, I can just select two speed dates if I want to. Ah, okay, that's good. Yeah, let's do that then. Oh, so you can skip scenes that you've seen before, but you can't skip other ones. Okay, cool, because I, I said Defender this time because I, I knew she's a Defender. Oh, then she can do that. Pat yourself on the back. Well, I'm a genius. What can I say? <laughs> do you like sports yourself? I do. Yes, big time. All right, we Football, can skip again, maybe? Rugby, tennis, basketball, oh, I can't golf, skip now because absolutely I changed an answer. On you can telly, only skip if you're doing the you same thing over and over. It. Okay. Yeah, I'll pick it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Tony and Kathleen on the second date. I can skip through Kathleen's second date, but we'll actually go on the date with Tony. So then we can kind of skip through that the next time if we want to and uh, get to the third date with her. Oh, damn it. I pressed none by accident. I'm a moron. <laughs> I am stupid. So I saw that you found me on social media. <laughs> yes. I hope you don't mind the likes. Not at all. I'm awful at it, so I appreciate the support. No, you're not. You have some great, cool, there you go. natural images on there. Some new really scenes like here because I liked her picture by accident. <laughs> them. Yeah, but they can also create false representations of themselves. Yes, For sure. they can, but even that is an interesting insight in itself. Very true. True enough. I think it's order at the bar. Ooh. I guess I'll let him off that one then. I hate slackness. It's why I was a little bit delighted you were here early. If I was late, would that have counted against me? Yeah. I didn't mean to say that. People operate at different paces. I didn't mean to say that. It's not really my problem, though, is it? Oh, I'm I did not mean to say that. She's head. not going to like that at all. So, what is the verdict? 
Did Based not mean that. Answers, you are a rational thinker. Whatever. You are logic focused and pragmatic. You prefer to analyze concrete details in a situation. Is that good for dating? Some people date successfully by ticking a set of boxes. Okay, but you also need an emotional connection too. Yeah, like anything, you need an emotional connection to balance out the rationality. I selected one wrong answer and I think it might have hurt me in the long run here, we'll see. So yours was particularly about like the pop culture influence on behavioral... Modeling and attraction dynamics. And I think that that's something that's really relevant right now, especially with like um, all the reality dating... Definitely shows. reminds me so much of Victoria from How I Met Your Mother. Um, I like to read, which is just studying. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. All right. Are we going to have the option to take her on a third date? I think we might have messed up with that one bad answer there. So who's going to get the third date? I mean, I only have one option, so... <laughs> Are we going to manage? Commentary, please. He's scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh. <laughs> Am I going to even be able to take her? Yes. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everybody stay calm. Don't let me do it. Ready? No, wait. Go! Imagine she just rejects me when I ask her here. Uh, that would be hilarious. Hello, Kathleen. Um, it is Ryan here speaking. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Um, I was wondering if you were free at all this week um, and if you wanted to maybe meet up and maybe get dinner. You know, take a break. Be a little bit more week. confident, bro. Yeah. Okay, um, yes, that sounds great. Um, Love that. I will get back in touch and I'll send you on some details or something. Okay. Let's um, go, baby. Bye. We're in there. Last date. I love how supportive wow. Misha is. <laughs> how amazing. God. You did sound like Should we do so some as Misha as well? <laughs> she said yes, well, send Trying to pick up guys would be terrible, in my opinion. What do you say? I would do terrible, is what I'm saying. Always the quiet ones. All right, let's see what our third date with Kathleen is going to be like. Is it going to be super different to our date with Brandy? I would assume so. Oh, we're at the pub. Evening, Interesting. evening. <laughs> yeah. Good evening. It's on the cheek, yourself. same as Brandy. Lovely little spot you found here, right at the bar. Yes, this is where all the action is. Oh, would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. Some nibbles? Oh, always. Yeah, what would you like? White wine, please. Nibbles? What does that mean? Does that mean like a little snack or as well or something? Thank you very much, sir. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, chili on tortilla chips. Oh, the Brits do some interesting things, don't they? Don't get me started. <laughs> is this romantic or is this silly? I don't know. Here, have a tortilla chip. Yeah. Oh, we're feeding brandy strawberries and we're feeding Kathleen bloody Cheers. tortilla chips. Cheers. This is my uh, first proper dinner date since my last relationship. Was it a regular thing? Mm. Not when it wasn't cooked by me. He wanted me to do all the domestic duties. Mm. And you didn't want to be a housewife. No. Playing devil's advocate, though, I was a student and he was earning all of the household income. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure there was a compromise you could have found. We never did. He wanted me to quit my studies and the rest is history. So you did you and you stuck to what he wanted to do. I respect that. that. That takes guts. Is there an income setup that you would prefer? Uh, well, living in London is pretty hard on either these days. I know. What even is a living wage in this city? <laughs> I would say a dual income, probably. I mean, it's not really like back in the day where one person's income would be enough to sustain an entire household. I think that financial security is really important in a long-term relationship. More than emotions? Yeah, but emotions thrive in a stable environment. That's really hard for me to hear. Oops. It'll be two or three more years before I earn a proper income. Look, it's, it's way too early to be even having these conversations anyway. I know, but um, still good to know. Oops. We messed up. So, um... I didn't mean like... Today. That's uh, a really great spot. I meant in the future, dude. Private. People open up more in intimate settings. Do they? Okay, We've messed well, up with Kathleen on a number of occasions now. I don't then. think we can get... Um, I've got a scar under my hair. Oh, how did that happen? Actually, there's... um. There's something else I should tell you. No, no I want to know about the scar. I'm in the middle of divorce proceedings. 
It's She's married. uncharted territory for me. You're the first person I've got this far with since my marriage ended. We've been separated for two years. My education was the big problem. I couldn't contribute financially, and I wasn't willing to have a child before I graduated. He couldn't wait. I, I totally understand if that's an issue. I'm so sorry again. It's not an issue, okay? Not an issue right now. No, look, it doesn't bother me one iota. Past is the past. Thank you, Ryan. I want your academic mm. opinion on something. This doesn't seem to be going oh, swimmingly. Golly. She's putting it all out we there on the first date, though. Well, I guess like, the third date, actually. This? <laughs> well, we wouldn't have made it this far if we weren't at least a little bit compatible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there is still one area that uh, we don't have much data on. And what is that? Sexual compatibility. What the oh, hell? Lord. It can be developed over time, but uh, normally it's better if it's there from the start. Okay. Um, <laughs> she, what, what, are we gonna bang from, at the bar? You know the the, the obvious way. Um, is there a way for us to estimate what that compatibility would be? With theory. What kind of lover are you? Oh Jesus. I mean, in a nutshell, I don't need the playbook. Romantic? Uh, I don't know. Um, I am a romantic. Yeah. Candles. Maybe some slow jazz music. I don't know about this. Some she seems maybe more adventurous. Massage. Slow and steady. Mm -hmm. Very sensual. Yeah. I, I prefer to be an emotional as well as a physical experience. Mm, for sure. Mm. Okay. That went well. Personally, though, oh, I... Oh, damn it. I like things a little kinkier. Oh, Lord. No. Don't act so surprised. I knew it. I knew it. I told you guys she was going to be. Not. Damn it. <laughs> no, I, I am. It. Um, no. Kinky. I still need to gather some data before my hypothesis. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick, do you prefer to give or receive? I mean, you stressed the hard because you knew I would have said both. Oh. You are very smart. Has anyone ever told you that? Yes, actually. I'm yeah, gonna say it give. It was almost as sarcastic as you just did. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even. I am a giver, definitely. Your reasons being? Well, I mean, I actually enjoy it for one thing. Um, it's also. I feel like she's gonna be a giver too, though. Both people are having fun because otherwise, it, it kind of just feels a bit like servicing. She's gonna be into That's that, a nice isn't she? Way to put it. Also, it is a little bit of an ego boost if you can make the other person feel good. If your technique is good. <laughs> Those are very valid reasons. You are an attentive lover indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this I was not expecting next? this, I gotta be honest. That's all I really needed. Okay. Well, what's the verdict? <laughs> Contrary to what I said, sexual chemistry is actually best discovered firsthand. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey. That wasn't an invitation. <laughs> but I appreciate you being so open and honest. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very conservative. Yeah, I just don't want to get too smashed too early, you know? I do. Barkeep, can we get some more wine for this one then? All right. I don't know if this is going well or not. It's hard to tell. What are you doing tomorrow? Books. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hopefully, I'll be able to retain some information. <laughs> Wine tends to give me brain fog. <laughs> so I'm thinking I should ask where your head's at. Are we not still on the casual dating stage? Uh, we are. I just don't want either of us to waste our time. Okay. I, I mean, friendship. Come on. Yeah, no, I, no. I can appreciate that. I really like you, Kathleen. Um, She's smiling. That's good. It's a good I sign. I feel like... It's a good sign. We have connected in loads of different ways. Yes. And I would like to see if... It's compatible. It could progress beyond casual dating. And I really hope you feel the same. Yeah, I, um... I do feel the same. Not a, let's go! Is that giving you any more data for the 
compatibility test. <laughs> Sorry, I I think I'm gonna need a bigger sample size. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, okay. I can give you that. I can give you that. Hell yeah. That's the end of the date, is it? Ryan and Kathleen are now an item. His IQ has already increased by 25. <laughs> she looks super different there. Well, that's kind of creepy. I love how Ryan had to go and take pictures of all these girls uh, after just based on which one you uh, you went through with. The intellectual, let's go. So now we've gone all the way with Kathleen, all the way with Brandy. Azalea and Tony are next. So maybe in the next video, we can go through with Azalea and Tony. But yeah, if you want to see a part three where I go through and do the Azalea and the Tony ones, or maybe even go as Misha and do Jake and Bash and Ty and Lucas and Hazel. Hazel, how do I do that one? I need to see that. Do not do shots with Hazel. Stay in touch with Hazel. Do not cover the bill. Tell Hazel you have a problem with her secret curfew. Smuggle up with Hazel. Wait, what? How do I do that one? Maybe I need to not do well in the speed dates at all and tell Derek that I did terrible or something? I don't know. Yeah, so Jake, Bash, Ty, Lucas, Hazel. Okay, so Hazel definitely is a, is a part of Misha's then because this is five on the right. Okay, and then five on the left. Okay, cool. There's a few different don't scenes actually that I'm getting one. here, boys. Yeah, and I'm gonna arm wrestle Tony. Yeah, like, what the hell? Table, because I said mother instead and she was telling me how <laughs> it was quite sad. Quite a sad story about how she's not in contact with her mother and her mother's a bitch, basically. Ready? So let's see if we can win this. <laughs> Go. We're already holding hands. <laughs> I'm just desperate. Oh, I'm irresistible. <laughs> Go on, Ryan. Oh, she's beating me. Come on, Ryan. Don't allow this. You've got more than that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Gracious, be oh, gracious. No, I was winning that. <laughs> You're stronger than you look. Imagine I boast. Look, I confess, I do some arm days in the gym, so. <sighs> Makes me feel a bit better. Still got it, though. <laughs> got one minute to go, guys. Just All right, one see? minute. You got some new Ooh, stuff there. Ooh, we're in stoppage time. Okay, so there you go. I've moved on. Azalea, we had an extra scene with Azalea as well, where basically I was telling her that she's my type, and she was quite happy with that. So uh, anyway, that's where we're going to end it now. But Azalea Shadows and Tony are going to be there for the second dates and I'll see you guys then.